more interactive than a typical session. Um, I'm going to say some stuff that's controversial, some stuff that doesn't make some sense, some stuff that you probably should challenge, uh, and I'm not going to tell you which parts, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so uh, and hopefully, but there is a, uh, a theme and a meaning behind why usage-based testing, I think, is going to become really relevant uh, in the uh, uh, world. And uh, I'm hoping to explain what that means, what we mean by it at WeatherMix. And uh, I'm going to show you in the demo um, uh, one version of it uh, that we have implemented uh, in usage-based testing, um, where we'll show you live accounts that we're working with today. So uh, the agenda is fairly straightforward. Define usage-based testing. Um, uh, define the show what's happening with the demo and uh, then define something that we call catalog, which is uh, basically an acronym for everything that we do. Um, and uh, believe it or not, I actually managed to make every one of the letters for catalog work. <laughs> it, was, it was truly an act of inspiration. And yes, uh, for those who haven't heard this yet, this is my new destination in life that I need to go visit. Uh, as part of the research for this talk, I found uh, this wonderful castle that I had not been to. So, okay, so, uh, a uh, little bit of background about myself. Um, a few years back, I used to run a tech uh, organization. I was head of R&D, uh, VP of R&D, uh, then I was GM for a business. And uh, I had, yeah, hundreds of people working for me, uh, developers, testers, and I literally spent millions on automation. Um, automation adds up when you take uh, tool costs and uh, this. Um, speed, brittleness, quality, setup cost, setup and maintenance, and cost, right? Look at each one of those channels and see uh, the variety. And again, almost everybody here is using almost everything other than crowdsourcing. You know this, right? You know that crowdsourcing is going to be faster to do a turnaround with a test case that's broken than automation uh, than writing code. Right? All you need to do is to update the detailed level of the test case before you spin it back out into, into the crowdsourcing world. So brittleness, if you have an area of code, so, uh, so brittleness is basically how, how much test case change can occur and your test case is broken. Uh, I mean, automation, almost anything changes, it's done, right? Um, but execution speed, both crowdsourcing and all forms of automation are really fast. Manual testing is obviously historically slow on a comparative basis, right? Um, quality. Uh, the quality, uh, I use the quality metric here to indicate true pass, true fail, right? Do you know for sure that it failed? With automation, it's, it's not that clear because you have to do a lot of analysis to figure it out. With manual testing, you're pretty sure that if one of your testers reports that it's broken, that it's broken. I mean, it could be wrong, but it's far higher likelihood uh, than with automation. Um, and the setup and maintenance costs vary, and the overall costs vary in each of these meetings. So the point I'm trying to make over here is you really should be using all the techniques, right? So say you do two of the techniques, we'll add on the third, and we'll give you models that show how your execution uh, uh, will be. If you're doing automation only, have you ever been able to finish your regression mission TV? We're giving one away to the people who sign up for the free trial. So, uh, you know, there's no risk. I don't want your credit card, I don't want anything. I just want to show you we can do this. 100 test cases, absolutely free, will be operational next week. Sign up today. And that's pretty much it. Um, questions? So, on another high level, what is your value proposition? What is it that you guys excel at? What is it that you guys do in a couple of sentences? We guarantee that your test cases will be executed in the time period that we uh, provide. And we guarantee that, so it's all about guarantees, right? Guaranteed setup time, guaranteed execution time, uh, and uh, um, guaranteed costs. So all three were pain points for me, right? I didn't want to spend hours and days and months wrapping up these. I didn't want to not know the status of my regression for more than 24 hours. And I didn't want to have variable expenses that I had no clue how they would occur. So, uh, 
we are, the reason I mention a lot of our partners is that we don't necessarily believe that we've built the best thing of anything. We've applied for 11 patents, we've been granted one. Um, we have, there's a high likelihood that many of the others will be granted, but we're partnering like crazy because we think the industry has the tool set. It's the philosophical change to use usage-based testing that's really missing. 